Okay, so this is your second last assignment on uh, pragmatics, and this is due on Sunday, November uh, 24th, before 11.59 p.m. So for your first exercise, what I want you to do is to give me conversational implicators. So remember, these are the examples that we looked at in the pragmatics module, uh, such as um, do you know where the uh, shocker hoodies are sold and these are university bookstores uh, around the street, etc. So the conversational implicator in that case was that the university bookstore sells shocker hoodies. And so for each of these conversations, I want you to tell me what is the conversational implicator in each of these cases. All right, so that's going to be really straightforward. Review that. And that's going to give you the answer to um, exercise one. Exercise two. So we haven't really talked about a cleft construction, but I'm telling you that it is a syntactic construction such as this. It was blank that blank, right, is, is called a cleft construction. And it is used in certain kinds of discourse contexts. So I've given you three conversations uh, between A and B, A, B, C, small a, B, and C. And you can see that in one of these contexts, B's response is actually inappropriate. So try to find the context in which B's response is inappropriate. So tell me which conversation that is. And then focus in each of the cases, in each of small a, b, and c, focus on the context in which B's response is appropriate. So there are two of them that are appropriate. So focus on those and tell me uh, the first underlined part is that new information or old information. So for example, it was a meteorite that Sally claimed she saw last night. Tell me, is meteorite, is, is it an old information or new information? And Sally claimed she saw last night, is that old information or new information for each of the ones that are appropriate? And then uh, after you do two, you are now in a position to explain why the clip construction is actually inappropriate or unacceptable in one of these examples. Okay, that's exercise two. And for the last uh, question, exercise three, I've given you three um, statements from people, and I want you to identify for each of these the speech act, that is, is it uh, locutionary, illocutionary, perlocutionary, indirect, direct, speech act, et cetera. The maxim that is promoted, and this is a uh, Gricean maxim, so this could be quantity, quality, manner, uh, relevance, and there could be more than one Gricean maxim that is flouted. Flouted means uh, that is not met, right? That's the meaning of flout. And the politeness strategy. Just tell me is the negative politeness or positive politeness, right? Negative face or positive face in each of these uh, following. So that's your assignment due uh, pragmatics November 24th.